one of the main reasons that uh, lenses have gotten worse is not just, and it's certainly a really good reason, and like Nikon and other places realize, oh, you know, we instead of making these really expensive Japans with high uh, lenses in Japan with high labor costs, we can make them in Southeast Asia or, oh, even better yet, Thailand, I mean, uh, China. Chinese slave labor. Uh, yeah. See, we'll charge the same amount of money or more, so that means we get to pocket more money. Yeah. What's another reason? People don't realize that, and it's like the, the Fuji X-T2 here, insanely fast autofocus, right? Autofocus is not simply camera-based as far as actually how it processes uh, where the lens needs to track. Autofocus is also in the lens. Uh, as I came up with the specific and proprietary system of my own creation, um, RPG, resolution phase gain, okay? Bandwidth construction and drive BCD RPG BCD drive means type of uh, drive is in the lens it could be an old screw drive lens a lot of the really really awesome lenses and Nikon still makes some of them are screw drive lenses that means that the camera body itself has a, um, a drive motor for driving the lens that drives some gear in the lens that's slow that means you could have just like an insanely fast camera like the Nikon D500 and while the camera is insanely fast in the autofocus, the lens itself might not be fast enough to keep up with the full potential of the D500. <sighs> the only problem is with this, and I'm about to get to that, is like, well, the lenses like the 105 F2 DC Nikkor, which is 100 worlds better than that piece of Chinese-made, overpriced, plastic chew toy garbage that Nikon just came out with, the 105mm F14. Mm -hmm. Now, Nikon made that as an ego trip, okay? To say, we've got the fastest portrait lens in the world! That's true, but they're replacing a lot of these older lenses, like the 60mm 2.8D, and not for valid reasons. You know, if it is a lens designed uh, for sports action and wildlife, then it would be a valid reason. It's like, we're going to stick a silent wave motor in this lens, and that combined on the D500, it's going to be, you know, smoking fast. But it's not an issue with the 105mm f2 or the 60mm 2.8 or a few of these other lenses because guess what? Those ain't action lenses. And I don't have too much of a problem tracking models. It's like, sit still, honey. Sand right over there. You know, they take directions. They're not like taking a picture of a squirrel on crack crawling up a tree. The 105 f2 DC Nikkor with its screw drive autofocus on the lens side ain't for tracking rabbit squirrels on crack or your puppy dog that's like running around on caffeine those lenses don't need improved autofocus damn it but 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 the dumbasses out in the camera world and most of the dumbasses are on photography forums you're like i got this fairly fast camera and i put this like super highly priced lens on it and it's just not as fast as i thought it would be no, you don't get it. That lens is not designed for insanely fast autofocus. Why not? You know, this is a really fast game. No. Autofocus is based in several criteria. Not only in the camera and how it processes the light to send the signal to drive the lens, but also what is in the lens that actually drives the lens. We have screw drive lenses. We have AFS lenses, but there are two different types of AF lenses. There's a micro motor drive lens and there's a silent wave hubless okay not a micro motor but a hubless really fast fewer parts very very quiet or like in uh, this uh, 16 uh, millimeter to uh, the 16 to 55 uh, um, Fuji lens that's a linear now like on the 90 millimeter Fuji that's a quad linear on the 50 to 140 it's a triple linear motor fast not only is fast it's quiet 90 millimeter Fuji on the X-T2 is just, oh my god, it's fast. <laughs> so the reason for Nikon actually replacing these things is not strictly from the fact that they obviously uh, don't have to pay Chinese slave labor. Oh, I, I should stop saying slave labor, which is basically what it is. Chinese labor, uh, uh, a lot less money, and yet still charge the same price and take the difference and stick that in their pocket which to them is good business sense. It's like, we're going to charge the same thing or higher, but make it in China now. <laughs> we're going to jack the price up, but our labor costs are going to go down by moving from China, I mean, from Japan to China. That means more money in our pocket. <laughs> That's true. 
The other thing is is to uh, silence the internet and the photographic uh, world of boobs, meaning morons and fools. And it's like, I got this really fast camera, but the lens isn't, it's not as fast as the... That lens ain't made for speed. There's no contradiction in Nikon, which they need to listen to this, um, Nikon, I think, right now is being run by bean counters. I'm, I mean, honest to God, I think there are a bunch of accountants and bean counters running Nikon. Um, don't need speed out of a portrait lens. Nikon needs to say, this lens is not made for speed, regardless of what camera you throw it on. It's a portrait lens. I ain't too worried about speed. It's like, hold still right over there, like, you know, strike a pose, girl, and take a picture. Don't need autofocus speed. For that type of photography, damn it. Nikon doesn't need to replace that. Some of these people out there said, well, you know, Nikon needs to make fast jet lenses. No, they don't. If it is a lens designed for tracking rabid squirrels on crack, that lens does need to be super fast to match the speed of the camera. If it's a portrait lens or it's a wide angle street lens, it does not need to be that fast. It doesn't even need to be anywhere close. I mean, shit, some of the best portrait lenses, manual focus it, you know? Your person is standing, you're still, and your subject is standing still. Manual focus, click. Doesn't even need autofocus at all. And by the way, interesting, like with the Voigtlander and some of the old Nikkor lenses, those are manual focus lenses. I have no contradiction at all sticking a manual focus lens on a smoking fast autofocus camera like the Nikon D5. That seemed like a contradiction. No, it's not. When I want to track sports action wildlife or something moving fast, I'll stick the appropriate damn lens on the Nikon. There is no contradiction in sticking a manual focus lens on a D500, which has smoke and fast autofocus. Zero contradiction at all. The only place that contradiction exists is between the ears of dumbasses, morons, and, uh, and uh, cockroaches on uh, internet photography forum boards. And unfortunately, Nikon and Canon and the rest of them, they listen to those cockroaches too much. What Nikon and Canon and Fuji should do is say, screw you, this is the truth and facts and logic of it, okay? You don't need a fast autofocus lens for portraiture. Don't like it, stick it up your ass. But since they actually sell products to the customers, they can't do that. But I don't, so I can say that. Nikon and Canon and Fuji should be more forceful to their customers and say, we're going for optimum output. In this particular lens, this lens is not about speed. People complain about the speed on the old Fuji uh, 35mm 1.4. It's slow. It's slow on the, even the, the X-T2 Fuji. Okay. The speed on, uh, what's the other one? The 27mm 2.8. Slow. Those lenses are not designed for speed. This one with uh, li the linear motors in it, it is not only fast for autofocus, wham! It is also quiet. That lens is made for speed. Okay? Nikon and these other people need to be more forceful with their customers by telling them, hey, look, hey, we're still keeping those old lens because it produces really awesome pictures, even though it's pretty damn slow on our smoking ass fast new X2 body, or like Nikon could say the same thing about their D500. We still make this lens, and there's not, you know, it is slow, but there's no contradiction in sticking that on our smoking fast body, okay? Different types of photography. Every lens doesn't have to be smoking fast, and plastic, and made in China. <sighs> Bye!